<laughs> in Tech Time with me, Andrew Humphrey, meet two local brothers who displayed their engineering skills in a global design competition. Their work was inspiring and may have you looking at airports in a whole new way. The Akinyeme brothers of Northville won high honors with their teams at the 2022 FAA Airport Design Challenge. This was a global competition with over 3,000 entries from 18 countries. Setting goals and meeting goals, I thought is very, very important. And um, I saw them do that um, all through the competition, the eight weeks competition. Uh, I'm really, really proud of that. Io, the younger brother, and his team, Team Arrow, placed third at the K through six level. E, the older brother, and his team, Team Arrows from Northville High, won first place for high school as freshmen. Seeing everyone was a real shock. Last year, we didn't get any position at all. So to get our position this time was really great. So what did they do after winning and placing? We played Minecraft. Playing the video game Minecraft was fitting because the competition was all about designing the airport of the future using it. One of my teammates, Chet, was and another and Arjun, they were both made the big structures, and me, Ritvik, and Justin, we all mainly went did the smaller details on the inside. Their mother was a coach on the elementary school team. Their father is an engineer. Their son's designs for a future Detroit Metro Airport and Grand Rapids Ford International Airport included new automated baggage systems, transparent solar panels, even the idea of a spaceport for moon missions. I was just marveled and, and you know, things that you don't really think um, are necessary or they are even thinking about. They were able to come um, with those solutions themselves. They had grown a lot in terms of being able to learn from, you know, doing things at the right time, um, following through on task, and um, staying with the schedule. And their parents got to see their children's teamwork and leadership skills firsthand. Just working with this team and knowing well how to work with different people in frustrating times and in times when they are having fun. And so I was very impressed with some of those life lessons. And it was just nice to see that growth from, you know, when they were younger and they needed to be chased around for science fair to the place where they were able to put things together and ask meaningful questions when they were meeting with officials and take the lead. Seeing that way, um, the way they switched to business mode and asked questions and comported themselves as, you know, um, it, it actually gives me um, a good feeling that, you know, these guys are gonna be okay um, in future. Again, all of this where the primary tool was a video game. What goes through my mind is that even though my parents didn't think that Minecraft could be that productive, I could still do something that would make them proud. Amazing, right? Lots of wows here in the studio. Now, although they were on separate teams, the brothers inspired each other. Io saw the success of his brother E, and that motivated him to work harder this year. Both look forward to being future physicists and engineers themselves. That's Tech Time with me, Andrew Humphrey. Back over to you. Just yeah. incredible. You can just tell how smart those kids yeah, are. Absolutely. And all the time that their parents were like, get off the video game. Right. right? See, that's why I'm like, where were they when we were kids? Because <laughs> we could have used but like, mom, dad, we're going to yeah. invent something. I wasn't redesigning airports, no. spaceports. No, I was trying games. to beat like the third level of James Bond, Goldeneye. That's yeah. what I was trying yeah. to do. <laughs>